Hi, I'm Sarah Bruce and welcome to EHI TV. On this week's show, we feature an interview with Mark Johnston, Microsoft's International Business Development Lead, who speaks about the launch of Health Vault in the UK. Welcome, Mark. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank um, you. Now, for those who don't know much about Health Vault, perhaps you can tell us a little bit about it. So, Health Vault is what we call a consumer health platform or a citizen health platform. It's designed to be a uh, service or a platform service that allows citizens to store, share, and manage their health information. So the idea here is to um, present a way for citizens to actively engage with a set of different services or connect devices. So what about specifically in the UK? What functionality is available? Can you say link up devices? Um, we've noticed that it needs to maybe be a bit more anglicised, you know, there's a lot of American spelling, um, it asks you to enter your weight in pounds. How are you working to make it more, you know, easy to use? Well, um, it's important to understand that we're still early here in the UK and um, we've launched with our initial partner being Nuffield. Um, we've also introduced uh, relationships with a couple of different global device manufacturers that are Again, bringing health vault connected devices to market. So things like blood pressure cuffs, um, fitness devices uh, like exercise watches, pedometers that can be used as a data acquisition source and bring the data into health vault to be reused in applications. Um, I think that the refinement that will continue to happen with the health vault platform uh, will be driven by additional partners that will come on board. Um, and the needs of the citizens that will be using the service. And what about uh, plans for sort of wider expansion? Are you targeting specific NHS trusts or perhaps the wider NHS? What's the kind of strategy to make Health Vault bigger? Well, sure. As I mentioned, again, it's early and we have ambition to extend the service uh, broadly within the UK marketplace. And I would add that the National Health Service is a very important customer to Microsoft. So um, I think over time what we'll be doing is working in a very collaborative way with them to bring um, new innovation and new services um, that, that are targeted for, um, uh, to support the transformation that the NHS is interested in pursuing. Um, I think the recently published white paper had some good themes in it around patient empowerment, giving uh, citizens more control and choice. Uh, they spoke about an information revolution and the, the need to bring new services to market that are very patient-centric. So that aligns very nicely with what we're doing with Health Vault. And Health Vault was launched shortly after the coalition government formed. Um, I think in some ways there was an expectation that the, the Tories would place more focus mm -hmm. on uh, platforms such as Google Health and Health Vault um, in the light of their review of NHSIT last year. Has there been any sort of disappointment um, that there have been a lack of announcements around these kind of platforms um, for the NHS? Well, I, I think um, now that the, uh, the politics season has given way to uh, the need to govern and manage uh, a service like the NHS, um, there's been a healthy dose of pragmatism introduced into the equation, as well as a coalition government. Um, so I think that, uh, again, we stand ready to help support the ambition of the leaders in government as well as the National Health Service to promote uh, new sets of services. Um, but I do think that um, uh, having the service live in country and the ability to work in new ways with the NHS uniquely positions us to help to support that transformation that the NHS is, uh, is embarking upon. And, and what about, you know, it's also launched at a time when health space was shown to have no real benefits and also a clear lack of engagement from patients. How would you say that Health Vault differs to health space? Um, and again, health space actually links in with the summary care record. Mm -hmm. How will Health Vault um, tie in with that? Well, um, health space, uh, I think, was an, an initial um, way for the NHS to start to develop these types of services. I think the other thing to, to focus on is that Giving a citizen a view of their record uh, is, you know, it's, it's important and it's interesting, but it's very different if you give them access to their information and then the ability to selectively engage with services that are important to them. Um, and as it relates to the distinction with the summary care record, uh, again, I'd like to point out that um, Health Vault is very much focused on the citizen, the consumer, the patient. 
Um, the summary care record, I, I would categorize it more as a provider view, an aggregated provider view of health information. And so um, the summary care record and the, the data feeds into that could also be selectively imported into Health Vault to give that same consumer, or citizen, or patient utility uh, that will be driven by a set of services that the NHS or private industry um, in healthcare may want to present to citizens. I think one of the key concerns around Health Vault and other sort of commercial platforms is this idea around how will Microsoft generate their revenues. You know, people like the idea of being able to put their record together and, and view it and share it. Um, but who else is going to see this information and is it going to be used for, say, targeted advertising? The citizen or the consumer or the patient has full control around who sees their record, how it's shared, how it's used. So when you consent to have an application connect to your health hall record, uh, we explicitly show the use of the data, the different data types that will be used. Uh, there's high levels of restrictions, so you as a citizen can hold back any information that you don't want to share with anyone. Uh, so there's, there's very tight granular privacy and security controls that are really core uh, in the Health Vault platform. Um, I know there's a lot of misconception too about the advertising and, and so on. Um, our intent is not to commercialize uh, advertising via Health Vault. Uh, we, we're not doing that in any country and it's not in our plans. Um, our business model is more related to those different organizations that want to introduce these new innovative services. There's a value proposition for an organization like Nuffield or a primary care trust that might want to have a better way of doing care coordination across a GP, an acute care setting, and extend into the home uh, post-discharge, for example. Like it's a good time. It's, a, it's an interesting time in healthcare, and, and uh, we're very excited about how Health Vault can assist countries around the world in this transformational process. Great. Thanks very much, Mark. Thank you.